Hi everyone, my name is Sim Gakkar and I'm a life insurance and investment advisor. Today I would like to invite Michael Liam. Michael Liam is with Canada Protection Plan. He's been in the financial industry for the past 23 years and since 2014 he's with Canada Protection Plan. So let's go and connect with Michael Sturak and then he can give us some information about Canada Protection Plan. Hi, Michael. Hi, Sim. How are you? Good. Thank you very much. How about you? I'm good. Okay. So, Michael, I have already given introduction about you to the viewers, and now I would like to tell them something about CPP. Excellent. So, again, uh, just to let you know, again, I've been working at CPP here, here for six and a half years. So I know a lot of the different changes that we went through in those six and a half years, which was good. Again, we started off as a hard to insure uh, simplified issue carrier. So for those of you who don't know what that is, again, no medicals, no APSs, that's what we specialized in, quick, simple issue. And so that has grown into something, of course, very large in the sense that we now also do people who are healthy, people who want a medical, and again, CI as well. So I'll discuss that as well. But like I said, it, grow for, it grew from a small corporation that did only simplified small policies to upwards of a million dollars now. And again, during COVID-19, it really showed who we really were because of course, with everything that had happened and all the different things that are, are changing in the industry, we were almost built for this because again, we are simplified issue, no medical issue. Um, we were able to, again, carry on business as though nothing really happened because when they shut down all the paramed companies and, they, and the, um, the nurses going out to see clients, it really didn't affect us much. So our business actually increased over that certain uh, uh, first and second quarter, which was remarkable for, again, a company like us. And I know other carriers were just scrambling to readjust to see how they could still do business given the fact that all their clients weren't able to, you know, be able to see their advisors in person. But of course, because we specialized in no medical, as right. well as online e-apps and a whole no, you know, delivery as well. So we started our e-pulse delivery right during COVID, which was just amazing because it went off really well because we were able to get everyone's policies directly emailed to them, simple and straightforward, as well as in April of 2020, we launched our CI right in the middle of everything, because yeah. again, we wanted to make sure there was, yes, there, there was ability to get both life and CI together, and we keep pushing the envelope, so now we have what I call our fastest A to Z model, where you can actually do your whole application right on your cell phone, so that way, if people, you know, were, and we found that most people, most uh, clients anyway, they were doing all their responses for e-apps on their cell phones anyway. So it just made sense where it's a national transition where now each and every broker can now carry the whole business with them on this device. So that was the whole transition for us. And look for more changes because, again, I don't know if you guys know, but back in October 2nd of this year, 2020, uh, Forrester's Financial and CBP Canada Protection Plan have merged together. So look for a lot of new changes, both on the sales side as well as product side. So you're going to see a lot of integration over the next coming months. So that's where we've come from uh, such a small company to now a big insurance company as well. Isn't that amazing? That's fantastic. Um, so Michael, I would like you to put a little more light on difference between a guaranteed issue policy and a simplified issue policy for a layman. Like not everybody understands the difference between the two. So if you could just give me a little bit idea about that. Sure. So guaranteed issue is simply that. It's very little questions or some, some carriers have absolutely no questions and they're guaranteed issue. Usually there's what they call a two year waiting period or deferral period where within those first two years, most carriers will not pay any out coverages unless it's an accidental death. If it's an accidental death, then of course payout is immediate. But if the client passes away within those first two years on any guaranteed issue product, they will only receive a return of premiums. So with simplified issue, a little bit different where there's a few questions, still no medical, but once they're able to answer the questions, yes or no, depending on how they answer, they're able to get immediate coverage for up to half a million dollars with us, with Canada Protection Plan, and again, you know, with our little benefits, a lot of carriers, you know, they, they actually start the process and billing right away. With us, given COVID-19, again, we ask that the clients don't have to pay until the uh, second month. So for an instance, if a client gets a policy 
let's say for the month of November, they actually don't have to start paying until month of December. It gives them a little bit of a break considering that you know, we're in a lockdown, people are still being laid off or losing their jobs. And right. we just wanna make sure that they're able to you know, you know, get the insurance that they want, that they need and arrange for payment a little bit later once they're able to apply for those credits from the government. Yeah. So, Is that the same for critical illness as well? Yes, same for all our policies, life and CI. That's as well as because, sorry, I just wanted to add because uh, we are now foresters, again, we also include our foresters complementary benefits, which include a whole vast array of different benefits for each and every uh, policyholder. Um, we have what we call the Law Assure program, which is like an online will kit, which mm -hmm. they tell us now is valued at about $150. So it's a nice little benefit, especially given COVID-19, that people can either update their wills or start working on them, or even a power of attorney or healthcare directive, and actually share it by email to their lawyers, to the notaries, or to their witnesses, because of course, we all now live in a world where we have to be virtual witnesses because yeah. you cannot see your lawyer in person anymore. So, Right, that's right. And uh, also, since you've already told us the difference between the guaranteed issue and simplified issue, I would mm -hmm. like you to put a little bit of insight on difference between the term insurance and a permanent insurance. Because I know Absolutely. that FTP does not have a whole life with a cash value kind of, but you definitely have something like T100. So if you want to tell the viewers a little bit difference between a term 10, term 20, term 25, and term 100 and your life. Absolutely. So again, the easiest way I explained term insurance when I was an advisor was basically, it's like owning a home versus renting a home. So, you know, if you have a term policy, it's like you're renting it for 10 or 20 or 25 years. And at the end of those 10 or 20 or 25 years, if you just paid the, the premiums, which are usually lower than permanent, there's no real value. You don't own anything. You're just renting that policy for that given time. Now, when you have a permanent policy, of course, it's like owning a home. So over time, when you make the payments, you build equity or what we call cash surrender value in that policy. And so we do have some whole life plans or, uh, or that have that small cash surrender value um, like we didn't before. But again, with how we're adopting now Forrester's products yeah. in, you're going to see more UL uh, PAR policies, non-PAR with our uh, uh, you know, array of other products as well. But like I said, that's the biggest difference. And what I like to do with most of my clients, at least when I was an advisor, and I advise this for all advisors, do a little bit of both. Have a little bit of permanent yeah. and then have term to cover those short and long-term debts. That way you kind of build a plan that's both short and long-term for each and every client depending on their budget, of course. But that way they get a little bit of both so they understand both how term and permanent function in their plan, right, so. That's very good. And I love that problem. So also, um, I would like you to very briefly tell everybody about your critical illness because I know that during the past few months, I have given this critical illness to a lot of my clients who had cancer and I gave them the cardiac. So that's a very unique product in the industry. So if you could just put a little more light on that. Absolutely. Thanks, Sam. So with, uh, you know, COVID, we introduced, like I said, in April 2020, our new CI plan. So it's four plans, but we're, we're, we're only looking to cover eight conditions, and they have to deal mainly with heart attack, stroke, or cancer. And the way we were doing it a little bit differently than the other carriers were that we separated the cardiac from the cancer. You can have it together if you can, if you can answer all the questions, no, but we've also separated and for the simple fact that if someone who has diabetes like myself, so I'm a diabetes uh, type two diabetic, I unfortunately cannot get standard CI based on my diabetes because they know diabetes is related to uh, heart attack and stroke. So what happens is someone with diabetes, if they go to a traditional carrier cannot get regular CI. So I was able to apply for what we call the cancer protect CI because of course I can still get it. However, I can't get the cardiac and that I can I, I think I applied up to $50,000 which is our maximum so if you have ever had a client who has been postponed rated or declined they can still apply for our products because we don't even ask those questions number one number two if they even had a claim so let's say they were you know had a CI claim for cancer from another carrier we can actually still offer them more CI coverage and say hey I know you have a cancer claim but would you like to get up to $50,000 in cardiac protect and most people will say yes, because they didn't think they were going to get the cancer in the first place, and they, they did, but they want more coverage. <clears throat> so it's possible to get more coverage as well. But we do have detailed plans all the way up to $100,000, mm -hmm. 
with an option of return of premium on death. And the main thing here I want to point out is that we actually don't have a 2424 pre existing condition, which means a lot of our claims, unlike the other simplified carriers, you can make a claim within the first year of having our policy with us. Where, of course, if another carrier has that 2424 pre existing condition clause, they can't make a claim for the first two years, which a lot of people I'm pretty sure not aware of, or they, I know clients forget that fact, right? So, so that's why RCI is much different than a lot of the other simplified carriers. Yes, and your CI is still 875 as well as for 20 years. There is an option. Yes, T75 and up to T, uh, T20 rider for yeah. our Express Elite, yes. And you. you can take it as a rider on their term policy or as in a permanent policy as well? Yeah, it it's up to them. They can do a standalone or as a rider. It depends on, again, what application they're filling out. Because again, they have to answer up to eight questions. Very simple, eight questions. <laughs> I know that. And you know, it takes about 10, 15 minutes, really tops, which is what people want, especially, you know, and it's all online because of course there's no medical, it's a true non-medical experience, whether the client's healthy or sick. Also um, in the end, I would like to ask you one question about the travel. Does your application ask for travel questions? Yeah, we do. We actually ask if they, within the next 12 months, if they're traveling anywhere outside of North America, um, the Caribbean or the European unions for more than three consecutive months. Okay. So I don't know about you, but because of COVID-19, I don't plan on going anywhere anytime soon, especially for three months. Sure. So usually that's not a problem. We even have a COVID questionnaire because we do take clients who've had either a history of COVID yeah. or, you know, that they're worried about being covered with COVID. So we actually added our COVID questionnaire. Again, it's bound to happen because I don't think COVID's going away anytime soon. And I think more carriers are starting to introduce this because we did have a number of COVID claims, which we all paid. So we want to, we're, we're proud to say that as well, because we do carry a 98% uh, uh, you know, payout ratio for our claims. So we're proud of that number as well. Yeah, thank you so much. I think that was a very detailed information. And I thank you for coming here, uh, Michael, and I look forward to speaking to you in the future as well.